Artificial intelligence makes it possible for machines to learn from experience and interpret new inputs to perform complex tasks. So when you think about artificial intelligence, what do you imagine? While science fiction often depicts AI as human-like robots that want to take over the world, artificial intelligence can do lots of useful things that aren't so scary. With today's technology, we can train machines to accomplish narrow but complicated tasks by processing large amounts of data and recognizing patterns in it. AI has evolved to produce lots of specific benefits like the ones we're developing in this expedition. Most people are familiar with the fact that there are robots in the ocean doing things, but sometimes we think that if the robot exists, then the work is done, which is not true. The robot is only a platform that collects data for people to understand, appreciate and interpret. There's a long way to go from collecting data to human understanding. What if we could use artificial intelligence to process data much faster, interpret the results and even suggest where we should be focusing our efforts? During this adaptive robotics expedition, we'll be using four robots, each capable of doing different things. AE2000F will be our scout, flying 10 meters off the seafloor and covering an area of around four football fields an hour. That's as fast as a brisk walk, which is pretty fast for underwater robots. We will utilize artificial intelligence to process the data and send Tunisan 1, Tunisan 2, and Sebastian to take a closer look at the most interesting places. They will operate much closer, covering an area 50 times smaller than AE2000F. At that speed, it would take us longer than we humans have been around to be able to map the entire ocean floor. So you can see why it's important for us to use artificial intelligence to detect the most important places to focus on. This way, instead of waiting a long time to make sense of the data that we've collected on an expedition, we could decipher it in a matter of days and optimize the data we collect accordingly, with the help of adaptive robotics.